Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of geometry, specifically how we can decompose or break down two dimensional shapes into different shapes, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So you see we have three rectangles and five squares on the screen. I just want to take a moment and show you how you can take these rectangles and then we'll look at the squares and you can break them down into smaller shapes that might be the same type of shape, might be a completely different shape. And so let's just start with this very first rectangle. So if I wanted to take this rectangle, if I wanted to cut it in half vertically, so straight up and down, a straight vertical line, you'll see what I have left are two squares. So if I wanted to take this rectangle, cut it in half, I have two squares that are left up. So I've decomposed or I've broken it down into two squares. So you can always take two squares, stick them side by side, and you can always make a rectangle. What if I wanted to cut it in half this way? Well, I've got a horizontal line, but as you can see, I don't have squares. I have rectangles. So you can take any two rectangles, stack them on top of each other, and you will have a larger rectangle. Now, another way to cut this rectangle in half is going to be like this, a diagonal line. I could have done the other one as well. But if I did this diagonal line, I'm still cutting it in half because I have two equal parts. But now you see that these are both triangles. And these are not just any type of triangles. These are actually right triangles, simply because they have a square corner. See that square corner right there? A lot of your triangles are going to look like this. So those are going to be different types of triangles. But if you ever have a triangle that has a square corner like this one does, it's called a right triangle. So I'll put that up here, right triangle. So you can put two right triangles together and you can get a rectangle. Now let's take a look at our squares down at the bottom. We'll kind of do the same thing. We'll start simple. We will start just cutting it in half. So when I cut it in half with a vertical line, You'll see that I'm going to get two, I'm just going to abbreviate them R-E-C-T, two rectangles. So you can't take a square and cut it in half and get two squares. Two squares don't make a square. Two squares make a rectangle. Same thing if you do it like this. If you have a horizontal line, you're still going to get two rectangles. So you can put two rectangles together. Sometimes they will make a square, but not always. Now, what if I were to do it diagonally like this? Just like I did with the rectangle, I've got two triangles. And once again, these are right triangles because I have a square corner. And they are a certain type of right triangle because you notice these two sides are the exact same length. So here's something you won't learn until fifth grade, but this is called a right isosceles triangle. It's called a right isosceles triangle because it's got a square corner and two of its sides are the same length. That's what isosceles means. Two sides of the triangle are the same length. But what happens if we do this? I'm now going to take my square and instead of breaking it into halves, I'm going to break it into fourths because I've got four triangles here and they are four equal pieces, which means I'm breaking them up in, into fourths. So that's my fraction of fourths. Everything else up to this point has been halves. So these are four triangles that are all the same, and you just do an x through a square. If you want to get smaller squares out of a square, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to combine what you did with these two uh, lines. One vertical, so let's see if we can make it as straight as possible, right in the middle, and then another horizontal. And now you've got four squares. So you can take a larger square and you can break it up into four smaller squares if you have a horizontal line and a vertical line, and each of those lines are exactly in the middle of their side, so they cut them evenly and so you're going to get four squares and once again this is also fourths so that's the weird thing these are the exact same square but i broke it into fourths with four squares and broke it into fourths with four triangles just based on the line i used 